ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Fizz, and uh, I want to just say I'm extremely and otherly very sorry that I have been absent from Planet Zoo. Um, a lot of things came up in IRL, and I also wanted to just spend time with my beautiful girlfriend before she went back to Australia, because we don't get to see each other a lot. Uh, so she, basically, the week before, like kind of the, you know, whenever the last video was, technically, I think it was the 18th, or the 19th of December, uh, I wanted to actually record one more thing, but we, um, yeah, we kind of just stuff happened. And, uh, but we're here now. Oh my goodness, nuclear is pooping. So, <laughs> um, so I want to say thank you and sorry to the people that have been waiting for the series and have been watching. If you have moved on to other content creators, that's 100% fine. I just had priorities spending with my girlfriend and family through the holidays, and we are finally back. And I just want to say I'm so sorry if you were watching and hoping to watch this during the break. Um, I'm, I'm just sorry. I just went full on, you know caring about family and just hanging out with that stuff but we are back now so let's continue with the arctic update and uh let's take a look at stuff so the last the first person the last episode i asked whoever would uh be able to be named the the reindeer it was uh nuclear uh so we're gonna call him baby nuke um i don't know actually there we go we're gonna call him baby uh baby there we go, baby nuclear. I forgot actually how to spell nuclear. Uh, so there we have it. Um, I there might be a way to keep. Oh, it's a, it's a female too. Oh, well, nuke, you are now a female uh, reindeer. And uh, let's where is he? Where actually find where he's at? There she is. But yeah. So uh, last episode we did a lot of things. So the first episode and the last episode we did all of this so i have let the game run quite a bit for maybe like 20 minutes or so 20 30 minutes uh just doing absolutely nothing because we've been literally broke and i think our loan is done so we can repay that as well okay good um we had no money i also had to do a lot of stuff i had to fire a lot of staff so we're down to a lot of different people these these guys cost a lot of money if you add up all the stuff in the balancing um a keeper is a thousand dollars the uh caretakers are 200 and the uh veterinaries are also a thousand so i cut one of the i cut three of these we had four of them um i cut two keepers i cut two caretakers uh, I cut two vendors because I think that's honestly what we needed to do. And I also shut down one of the staff rooms because it's not honestly needed at the moment. Uh, and that's the one over here because it's it's just not it's just not doing much over there. So um, yeah, so uh, I, I waited for this. I'll probably I'll probably let it run for a little bit, but uh, let's talk about what we're gonna do today. So our challenge today we're going to get to bronze so have at least three habitats uh habitat species in the zoo so we're going to do that uh we're probably going to put it right here and i have an idea on what it is so if we go to our animal trader and if we scroll down i hoping that they're still there um let's see the snow leopards are still there but i can't afford the ones that i would like because we only have uh, 224 of those. Um, uh, let me see. No, 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 no. A polar bears are there, but I still can't afford that. And dolly sheep. We already got the sheep. Oh, dang it! The snow amp. Uh, 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 the apes. The uh, are not there. So I'm gonna have to keep coming back to this to hopefully get them. Uh, but we could technically do a nice purchase of the Arctic wolves, or just kind of wait. I probably will wait and see if I can get some better ones. Um. That's actually not a bad one. I'm gonna buy. I'm just gonna buy this one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy this one. It's not a bad one. Okay, and then we're gonna put this in uh, quarantine. Where's our quarantine over there? So we'll have that checked up and everything. So I'll come back to this in a couple of minutes. Ooh, ooh, that's a good wolf. Ah, screw it. We're gonna adopt that too. You know, in the tutorial they say, oh, the ones with the green. When you buy with the leaves oh they're not they're not bad you should you can trust them by a buyer well guess what last time i did that uh my buffalo had some sort of weird disease and it spread to all my buffaloes on my one of my playthroughs and it almost killed the whole herd because of the disease because it was bought with 
green and I just put it in there. So I don't trust that anymore. So I just put them all in quarantine. But yeah, how was everybody doing? I'm hoping everyone is doing fantastic and hopefully everyone had a great holiday season. Um, I, sh I absolutely did. I, I absolutely adore loving and love hanging out with family and stuff and, you know, having my beautiful girlfriend in the States and just being able to, you know, have that physical contact with just her being there you know and I, I am also very sorry that we did not get to do the creative um zoom that we wanted to do i it's stuff happens and when we were going to do it we got extremely sick and then we kind of you know forgot about it so i am truly sorry about that so i don't think that will happen but you never know in the future um her computer can't run this so maybe we could do GeForce Experience kind of thing, but I'm not too sure. So I'll have to do some Google researching. Uh, so I'm very, very, very sorry that we did not uh, fulfill the promise of doing a creative zoo. And I am truly sorry in that, but um, you know, life gets in the way. So, you know, when you get, when you guys get, um, you know, girlfriends, wives, you know, husband or wives or whatever, you know, stuff happens. So. But anyways, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. I want to get to like 20,000 because uh, last time I made this, I had like 40,000 and I spent it all because I was trying to make it so pretty, which it looks amazing still. Um, yeah, and I'm also gonna keep looking back on this. And uh, oh good, they, they has the quarantine, excellent. And I'm gonna keep coming back to this to hopefully see if they get ourselves some, uh, some stuff that I want because, oh, there's the bisons again, hello. Uh, to uh, have stuff because I have some ideas on what we do because we we got a lot of things to do But we only need one animal to get bronze. So yeah Be back in a minute Alrighty, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So it's been about another I don't know, 10 minutes. I uh, was doing some research and uh, uh, I Wikipedia research meaning this right here the Arctic wolf because that's indeed what we're going to be adding to our uh, Zoo today is the Arctic wolf for our third Animal for our bronze now I've been trying to debate where to actually put it because I think I want to also add uh, regular wolves, so I also bought um I have one timber wolf. It's a gold star. So it's pretty good So we're gonna pause right here because I don't want uh, stuff to happen um, and uh, yeah so I don't know what we're gonna do with all this stuff so yeah because right here is a good spot okay what the heck how do I how the heck did I select that oh that's cool anyways um sidetracked uh, so I I have enough room to put an exhibit here okay that's what we do with the reindeer so I might think about putting something there in the future. Uh, and then I was also looking at this right here, this spot. This to me, to me, looks like a fantastic spot for wolves. And we could, in theory, maybe put uh, both the wolves here and here. Or this looks like a really good area for the bison. Now, granted, I know the bisons don't need a lot of room, but I feel like this could be a really cool area for them because, well, for one, I, I don't know if I can build on, I can build on this. Okay, so that's good. So I could technically put a fence and stuff because this looks really cool, right? And I was thinking like we could run a pathway like right here, you know, and then have the fence line like right here or something. And then have the path on top. I don't know. I have a really cool idea what we could do with this. And it would be really cool. Because it could be a small path like shoo, like that. And then it, this would be the whole bison exhibit. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have this as the wolf enclosure. Now, what are we going to do? Well, let's read the PDA real quick. So, information. Uh, there's 200,000 estimated in the wild. Pretty cool. They live in North America. Canada. Uh, in this general area. Pretty cool. They need 1,162 meters of, of land. Uh, they don't need water, but we'll add probably water. Uh, they need a grade two fence. So what's a grade two fence? Uh, that's a grade three. Um, yeah, they honestly can have everything. So that's that's good. So we'll probably just make it out of wood. Um, how tall does it need to be? Um, not that tall, apparently. Doesn't even say, hmm, that's weird. It's supposed to usually say how tall it needs to be so that way they don't escape. Uh, but anyways, uh, so the interesting thing about these versus the Timberwolves, uh, where is the Timberwolves real quick so I can showcase that 
Uh, where is T? I wish we could search for these things, though. So, uh, Arctic wolves can have two to eight, so they can have two males and eight females. And timber wolves can have... Wait, what? Two males up to 12. That's new. I couldn't have more than two in a... I wonder if they updated that. That is super new. That Because I had my first zoo. I could not have more than two in the enclosure. So, did they update that or something? Because I do not remember that being a thing. Anyways, doesn't really matter. Let's just get right into it. So, uh, we kind of have all our information we need. So, we just need to build a pen. So, I'm not going to okay i might uh, I, uh, I think i'm just gonna build the enclosure first get them in there get some money going and then i'll make it pretty like this because i spent a lot of time on this and honestly the reindeer enclosure is beautiful it's one it's super beautiful and i actually really like it because it's, it's got a lot it's it got a lot of stuff in it but that's the whole point of this game but it costs a fortune to do so it put me in debt pretty, pretty quick. So we are going to get the enclosure done and then we'll see what's happening. Ah, it's wonderful to see some new species around here. Some of the guests are practically shaking with excitement. Well, it's either that or they're cold. <laughs> Good Lord almighty, I accidentally unpaused it and it scared the absolute wow. crap Good out of me. on making such outstanding standing progress i'll be honest i was worried about the viability of building a zoo in this location but you've completely vindicated my decision <laughs> you know if it wasn't for the whole accidentally going missing and being declared dead part of founding the zoo <laughs> i'd call it a complete success <laughs> Okay, uh, so I <laughs> wasn't expecting that to happen. Very cool. Uh, ward animals can be claimed from the trade menu. Wait, what? Oh, are you kidding me? Ah! Okay, we'll just keep those there. Did not know that was happening. Okay, so what is happening? What is happening? Habitat has no keeper assigned for four. Assign or free to visit? Huh? Yeah, I didn't get to that yet. Relax game. Jesus. Okay. So, this is the wolves. Uh, which I'm not even close to being done because I was going to do it. I was going to talk to you guys after I did this, but I guess I'll talk to you guys right now. So, the enclosure is a little bit different from what I've done previously. As you can tell, we kind of have this little out area kind of like... What the heck is this? So... The idea is to have this as a huge rock formation right here and kind of cover over here. And I am researching right now um, one one way through glass. So this is all going to be one way through. And this is where they're going to sleep is somewhere around here and here. And this is going to be kind of like a cave uh, for say. And then obviously these are going to be all one way. I mean, I'm going to do it all one way glass. So that way it's just kind of very, oh, nice. And I think it turned out really nice. It's kind of like a small oval. I still have to fix the shape up here because I wasn't done yet. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then I'm adding these. I don't know where I'm going to add these. I think I might add this one. Um, I like this one a lot. I'm probably going to save this as a blueprint, by the way, because uh, this is, uh, this is nice. This is super duper, uber nice. This, uh, this little screen there yep arctic wolf all right and then let's just copy and paste it again yoink and pop it there now let's add the last couple of things that i was going to do before he started meowering because i forgot that i paused it add that there add that there we're gonna add ourselves arctic bin there arctic bin there and then we also need is donations so donations always go uh yeah we'll just put it right here right here right here right there right there 
and yeah uh, i also was also thinking about doing the cave right here but uh we didn't need that because i'm gonna put another food station right here because it's gonna be like a major uh food area i think yeah it's already oh my goodness it is already becoming a massive food area yeesh so let's pause that and see what's happening huh where where is this oh i forgot these had um forgot those had uh speakers there's a speaker in this one yo change that to arctic and where's the arctic on that one there we go excellent so now those all should be good what are you guys okay yeah i i understand that what is habit okay yeah so we didn't do we didn't do keepers yet so let's get that on so let's hire a keeper and let's hire a uh caretaker and then let's hire a veterinarian where's our veterinarian we need to hire two veterinarians and then let's pause the game real quick again add this uh we need to make a new work zone too crap uh work zone deer sheep uh new work zone yeah um white wolf there we go and then we come back to these guys there's a work zone thing again i forgot uh how do i sign you in a work zone mm, i actually forgot how to assign it to work ah here it is white wolf there go white wolf And White Wolf. And now, what's her name? Hannah Henry. We go to here. Here we go. You go there. Uh, you are now going to be deer or reindeer. What's your work zone? Uh, sheep. Yep. What about you? Okay, let's cancel you real quick so I can actually uh -huh. find where you are. Then add deer to your work zone so that way... Good. Now they all should be perfectly fine. So now this is going to generate us a crap ton of money because White Wolves now... I, I don't even know if they're happy. Are you guys happy? I hope you guys are. <laughs> Not really. Oh my. Well, actually, that's not a problem because apparently that eh, it's whatever. It's perfectly fine. Um. Okay, now who's actually in this enclosure? What animals are here? Uh. Okay, so we have two females and one male. So I guess what we could do is select all, and there we go. Do I have to quarantine him? Yes, we're going to quarantine him. I don't even care. Maybe it's a test. You never know. Maybe the game is testing us to, you know, I don't know. There's a their disease. Oh, they're rescues. Well, yeah. So anyways, my big idea is so this is going to be a giant kind of rock formation right here. Uh, it's going to go over to here as well. And basically, it's going to have the uh, wolves where they sleep. Nice big snow bedding. Yeah. yeah well, I don't know if we can give him warmth. You guys like warmth at all? Nope, they're perfectly happy with just exactly how it is. Okay, excellent. There's no other things that we've unlocked of them because we haven't had them that long. And yeah, so I guess we do have enough money. Oh, you know what? Actually, before we do anything, we need to buy um, something over here. 
God, what is happening? So what is this? Oh yeah, we need a new vendor. So that's wasting us money now. We need to buy a new vendor because now we actually have the money profits coming in. Uh, vendor, vendor, vendor. There we go. Go work. Here, we'll buy two extra vendors. Go work. Go and work. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that. That guy is going to take over his job. That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, let's see what the uh, people at the zoo are needing. What are the people at the zoo? Guests. Zoo small. I feel, s I feel sick. Being close to toilet. It's a... Oh, wow. That's a disaster. Holy crap. That is dis... Oh, my God. Yeah, you go sit down or or just walk through that. <laughs> that is... That's dis that's disgusting. That whole building needs to be quarantined. Oh, my goodness gracious. <clears throat> All right. Um, Let's look. Oh, yeah. I didn't even look at what they need. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're hungry and thirsty. Well, let's add a new food place then, shall we? What kind of food place should we go? Oh, yeah. I got the Subway DLC. Uh, what do we have this? What is that? Hmm. I don't even have an information place yet. Well, I guess it's time to do some research. Because we don't want the same thing twice. Um, there you go, mechanic. And yep, yeah, we're going to have to hire a new staff member. For that. Oh yeah, we're not going to have enough... Oh, yay! You passed quarantine! Excellent! Get in there! Excellent day. Oh, we have someone coming to our park. Yeah, welcome to the cold, woman. What the hell are you wearing with your sneak into the sandals? That's one of those dummies. <laughs> it's really interesting to note all the differences between timber wolves and arctic wolves. For start, and stop me if I'm getting too technical, I think the latter are at least 10% floofier. <laughs> Interesting. Also, they're not white for some reason. They're brown. Very interesting. Indeed. Oh, look at them. Now, I know their shelter is terrible at the moment, but that's okay. It's going to be fixed very, very soon. And uh, I think I'm going to start that process right now. We have $30,000 and uh, I'm honestly waiting for research on this. And, uh, yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna start building. I'm gonna pause it when it turns daytime, so that way it's a little bit easier for you guys to start, uh, watching. But, uh, we're gonna build this to be a pretty cool enclosure, so, uh, we'll get right into that speed build, so I'll be right back.
welcome back holy crap okay that was like an hour and a half of working on this but i'm not even going to lie i am super duper amazed and i honestly I, i'm gonna save the game because i haven't actually saved the game so uh snow yep save yep i honestly i'm just i'm just absolutely thrilled i love this this is so cool um so let's i don't even know where to start um so i'm not 100 percent done with it but i'm at a point where i think i'm pretty much good for right now um because i want to go across with this uh over to here and i'll have like big openings and and for this area for the uh um what the heck are these gonna be called oh bison the bison over there uh so this isn't completely done but it's for the most part right now done and uh i do want to add some more trees and everything and everything all this other stuff but let, let's just take a look at this look at this so the keepers can walk right here this is this is so cool so i made it so that the wolves can walk right here so watch oh let's watch him is he gonna walk there yeah so they can walk back and forth right here this is it's it's i'm i'm just blown away i honestly really like this and this is such a really cool build i haven't done this yet in this game and i am i'm ecstatic now uh the one thing i would fix is probably this water right here going back and forth right that but honestly it's not too bad i probably should extend the water to be at a little bit bigger uh but honestly i think this is just fine they're having a great time swimming though that's for sure uh One of them just disappeared. I might have to fix that. <laughs> there, there he is. Oh, look at that. He's got on, he's on his little iceberg and stuff. I don't know. I'm I'm blown away and I'm absolutely amazed. And in here, so this is where oh my god, people are loving this. Look at this. Uh so you can they're gonna be able to sleep here. This this little walkway thing. Look at that. It actually has the echo theme too. Oh, that's that's nice. I might put some heaters down here just because, but yeah, this is this. I I'm I'm just so blown away. I don't even know what to say. I, I I'm honestly liking this, and I put a lot of thought and process on it. So obviously, ooh, I'm gonna pause it right there. That's a great shot. Now I didn't see where do I get that? I wanna put. I wanted to put that. Um, uh, wolf. Oh, <gasps> is there actually a snow wolf? No. Oh, <gasps> that's a. That's not a wolf. That looks like a fox. Eh. I guess that's a wolf. Yeah, I guess that's a wolf. So what we could do is we could put, um, for decorations, we could put, like, some wolf statues up here and stuff. And, oh, man, I don't know. I, I'm blown away on what we did today, and I'm, I'm just super happy. I don't know. I like it. I'm just, I'm happy that we're back to playing this, and I'm hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed. So, um, if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, follow, and, um, you know, yeah, look at that. That looks, that looks pretty dope. I'll fix it a little bit later. We'll probably have it go across right here, um, with, like, a bunch of wolves, like, a bunch of wolf packs or something. I don't know. And I do want to put a tree here. Let me just do that right now. Let's, let's get some trees. Uh, ooh, what the heck's happening with that tree right there? Hello. I'm gonna move that. There we go. That usually fixes it. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's grab one of these trees. No, that looks stupid. Um, uh, I want a small... Yeah, this one right here. Right... Right there, that's where I want to put it. Yeah, there we go. That that looks that look, that's looking a lot better. And obviously, we have a lot more to do and work on this because this this is just the first step. But <coughs> I'm super duper excited. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, follow. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you think about the wolf enclosure because obviously I love it. So yeah. Oh, and look at that. They can have this now. Let's add that right there. Oh, man. But yeah, we have a lot more to do in the near future, and I'm happy we're back. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the series, and uh, sorry I was, uh, you know, away, but family calls.